Hey, what's going on? Um, I just thought I should make a video on how to flash your Samsung i8510. Right into it. So, first thing you need to do is to download the firmware for your Samsung i8510. So, I, I don't have any screen capture software, so I'll just use my camera and I'll be switching between showing you what's on the what you're doing on the phone and what you're doing on the computer as well. So, it's more convenient like that. So you download the files first and put them into a folder. So I have mine in um, this new firm folder. So these are the two files I downloaded with the i8510XXIB2 firmware. So you select both files like so and then you extract them. So I'll just use 7-zip to extract here. So yeah, quickly does that. So there you have your files. So these are the extracted files. So so we will switch to the phone. So the first thing you need to do is switch your phone off. So I'll just do that right now. So what you want to ensure is that your modem and PDA drivers, I mean your PDA and phone drivers are installed on your PC. So you open Apollo, which is one of the programs that um, you'll get. So I'll just open Apollo. Right, Apollo 6.05 is the version that I'm using. And you need Okay. So on your phone, you need to press the buttons 1 and 4 at the same time. And you switch on your mobile with the both buttons pressed held down. So it goes into this mode, which is the modem mode or something. So what you need to do now is plug in your USB stick into the phone. And the result after you plug that into the phone is, um, is this. It displays something like that on this part of Apollo. So that means everything is correctly installed. So, switch off the phone, but you um, can't switch it off the normal way, so you have to take off the battery. I'll do that now. Take off the battery. Make sure it's off. So I won't put the battery back on because I'll be taking it off again. So, you switch it on again with the 7 and star buttons pressed held down. So it goes into this modem download mode. Again, you plug in your your USB cable into the phone. Like that. And this time it displays on the modem part COM9 or COM3 or it's completely random. So that's the first part, which is the checking that your drivers are installed part complete. So another thing you have to note is that your battery has to be at least hold full. Yeah, just to be safe, your battery has to be full. So this time I'll plug it back in. So we'll get on to what you need to do on the display, on the computer. So you click on modem code and then you navigate to the folder where you installed your where you extracted your your firmware files so that's in this new firm folder so you will see this phone ixb something that's for the modem code right anywhere so that's just click on that and open then that stuff should appear so at this stage you can select your phone name so that's the i8510 Primera, or whatever, I don't know what that's about. Right, then next you click on PDA image, not this part. So you navigate into the folder PDA code, i8510XXB2. And then you look for a similar XML file. 
that the, it'll be the only file you can select anyway so if you click on that code and open and then next uh, you click on CSC image over here then you navigate to the folder that says CS PDA CSC so you get in there and again you select the XML file that's at the bottom of that selection you click on open so that's when it's displays Morocco Matt you can't really change any of these settings so PDF status make sure these two things are checked put loader and NV clear and all make sure these things are checked before you flash your firmware and basically you're good to go so I'll just put the battery back back in this you have to hold down the four and star key of your phone so that's that's pretty tricky so I'll just do that now okay so it goes into all download mode so coming back here all you have to do now is just plug in the phone and sit back so I'll just do that now and then um, it detects your COM9 and stuff make sure that that's displayed and you're basically good to go so all that's left for you to do now is click on all download over here all download so you click on that and this process starts modem downloading um, some couple of messages creating thread successful blah 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 so so we'll just let that happen so it doesn't take too long on the phone not much is happening it's just the phone and then it automatically restarts the phone so that's what I'm waiting for here it's restarts and then it goes into this this mode so it shows a couple of messages a couple of things start happening here connect zero successful sending header stuff like that it's a pretty fast process don't have to doesn't take too long I do hope though that Samsung does um, come up with the firmware update okay that's done so the phone is restarted and yeah download completed so that's that's basically all there is to it um, depending on the version of Apollo you use uh, things may be slightly different but I would recommend you use 6.05 or whatever the latest version is um, at the time when you see the video but currently uh, as I take this video I think 6.05 is the the most recent version so switches on as usual um, of course now it's like completely empty so I have to set my country and everything which can take a while stuff like that so yeah that's basically all there is to it uh, to flash your phone so if you'd like to know any more just uh, uh, leave a comment on the video or just ask whatever you need to ask and I'll, I'll see if I can help out so yeah that's all thank you for watching